Hi everybody, this is Jay Simons, I'm the president of Atlassian. You're live with Siebert Media. Hi there, I'm here with Giancarlo Leonetti, Group Hi. Product Marketing Manager from Atlassian. This is your biggest user conference, isn't it? It is, it is. We've had a couple big announcements, Jira Services, Confluence Questions, and Benner integrations with Stash and Jira. Okay, so tell me something about Stash. Stash is our Git repository management tool. Uh, it's built for enterprises to use behind the firewall. Yeah. And, and one it's of one of the only uh, products that can do that that well, right? Correct, correct. It's uh, primarily built around the permissioning and the collaboration that enterprises need to use Git behind the firewall and adopt Git behind the firewall. Can you give me two, second, uh, two sentences about what is Git? Git is... Uh, Oh, this is a good question. <laughs> yeah. so, oh, but source code management no, system. Go, yeah. Git is a version control system that is becoming very popular, especially in the past year to two years. Um, it's predominantly been used by open source projects, but it's now it's gaining a lot of traction in business environments, especially in the enterprise. And this is, as an exception, not a product of Atlassian, right? Correct. Our products are built on top of Git. And so Git itself is a version control. Stash adds a layer on top of Git to give you that permissioning, the collaboration aspects, and even enterprise features such as LDAP, Active Directory integration, and so on. So why do, you need, uh, do I need this um, additional layer if I can get for free as an open source software? Why do I want to pay for, for Stash on top? Well, so there's a couple reasons. I mean, really Stash builds on top of the features for the enterprises. I've mentioned this a couple times. And the reason is, is that, and the reason you pay for a product like this is, we're giving you a lot of those features that these open source products give you, but A, in a tightly knit packaged product, that's first. Uh, second, we're thinking outside of the box for the enterprise. We have 10 years of experience with our products in the enterprise. And so we're thinking outside of the box as well, as so how our teams that are using a technology like Git in a business environment, how are they going to adopt this technology and have, again, the fine-grained permissioning, collaboration with something like pull requests, which has been predominantly an open source feature. Um, and we're putting enterprise features on top of that, pull request approvals, uh, different merge conditions, uh, integration with our build server, which is Bamboo, uh, and the list goes on there. So we're really thinking about uh, not only how these these business users will use it, but how it integrates with their product tool set as well. And this is not a test, right? Uh, Sasha has grown into a very big and successful product within Atlassian, isn't it? Correct. Um, I mean, over the past year, we've actually been humbled by the number of enterprise companies and larger companies that have adopted Stash for their good needs. Orbit, HBO Go, NASA, Tesla, the list goes on. These are a number of companies, larger companies, that are adopting Stash. Um, and if you think about it, when you get something that's involved with your version control system, it's usually a strategic choice for your company. It's not like you switch version controls or tools that you use your, with your version control on a monthly, quarterly, or even yearly basis. These are cool tools that are staying in-house um, you know, for a long lifespan. Yeah. If you look at studies about um, Git adoption, yep. uh, it's probably one of those um, things that are mo most like the, the top uh, yep. systems, right? Uh, yep. Even Mercurial, which is probably a modern uh, competitor, yeah. um, isn't adopted as, as good. At the same time, when you ask uh, companies, do you plan to use Git? They almost all say, yes, we, we do plan and they do course mm -hmm. in the future. But a lot say, uh, maybe not now. It's mm -hmm. such a big effort to do that. So does that kind of... Uh, make you angry because there's so much potential in there and they, they don't move for that and they leave that on the table? Not at all, not at all. Um, we built Stash knowing that the market is moving there. Um, and if you think of Git, a year ago you would have called Git a trend. You would have said Git is this trend that's happening in version control. Now Git is a standard. You're seeing especially new companies that are starting today. If you were a startup that started today with 5, 10, 25 people, you'd start with Git as your version control. You wouldn't start with Subversion or CVS. And now, again, these larger organizations, these more established organizations, are slowly making the switch. We expect that to happen over the next two years when we talk to our customers, that's what they say. It doesn't make us angry, it's actually an exciting time, because mm -hmm. we feel like we're staying ahead of the market, so whenever these enterprise companies, or business companies, uh, excuse me, larger companies, uh, decide to make that switch, we've already been thinking about this for the past mm -hmm. two years. So we're gonna have a fully baked, awesome product for them um, that fits their needs whenever they're ready to make that switch. Do, do you know what I uh, like the most uh, in Stash? What's that? As um, 
I'm a manager and I don't know anything about uh, programming languages and, uh, and this stuff. I can now, we have this uh, editing feature within Stash. Mm -hmm. I can go to a certain pages and I know a little about HTML. Yeah. So I can, I can change text and then uh, uh, shoot up a pull request and someone can approve that. And then uh, like kind of my change yeah. goes live very fast. Yeah. Uh, earlier I had to make a screenshot and then I, I'd have to raise a t Jira issue and then yeah. I try to talk to uh, hundreds of people until this would be, um, Kind of done by someone else. Now I can I can do that myself, and yeah. it's it's awesome. It's it's very easy actually. Definitely one of our goals with Stash, which is again our behind the firewall Git repository management tool, and Bitbucket, which is our cloud-based solution that's very similar to Stash, is to make adopting Git easier. So code ways to edit your code easily within the application, potentially uh, use functionality that's part of Git that's very useful and, and part of that distributed nature of Git, like branching, merging code review, we're building this all into the product so it's very easy for any end user really, even someone like you, like you said, like yourself, who's not very familiar with Git, to get going on the product immediately and get productive fast. Doesn't that sound uh, scary if um, managers hear that managers like I can mingle in the source code now? Um, I think not at all because I think software development has actually changed and, and this was mentioned during the keynote today. Uh, that software development has really changed to involve more than just those co those developers or core developers on a team. So just if you think about that, that involves designers, QA, product management, potentially even sales and marketing. I mean, at Atlassian, marketing is very involved in the development process. Um, but Stas gives you the ability to choose who can actually write or commit that code. Um, and using something like a feature that's called pull requests, um, really gives you a layer there. So just in case somebody does work on that piece of code, doesn't mean it's committed directly yeah. to your your, That's why your master of production so server. So they can mess up whatever they want, but probably not end up in, in the master yep. repository that goes live in That's production, That's the beauty right? of branching, right? Or yeah. forking, which we have in Stash, both of those features. So the pull request means that I basically say, hey, I have something that I think is valuable, yep. and then someone else has to come and say, yeah. Correct. <laughs> I did, maybe, maybe you want to redo maybe that. Maybe it's valuable. Yeah, yeah. Maybe not, though. Yeah. Maybe not. Yep. And if so, it can be pulled into the core, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. OK. Cool. Yeah, awesome. What, what is the one thing that excites you the most about uh, this year's summit? Our integration features, to be completely honest. Uh, one thing we're talking, boasting about for our integration features is keeping developers in the flow. And so what you heard about today was taking a developer or taking a development experience all the way from working on an issue in Jira to deploying that issue to production so your customers can use it. So that end-to-end -end workflow is really what I'm excited about because we're building all that into our products. So you never have to jump between applications, uh, you know, context switching, wasting time looking for things. We're putting all of that into our product um, so you can just do what you do best and that's code and then eventually get that into your customers' hands and get feedback. So Carlo, thank you very much for your time.